All right, so you know exactly where to go the next time some relatives don't turn up for a family wedding. Well, let's now shift focus and here's something that you must definitely think about. Have you ever wondered what happens to all those gadgets that you dispose of that have totally no worth whatsoever? Well, it now seems that Mumbai is the capital of India's electronic waste. The government is trying to take steps to curb the pollution that is now being emitted, but it seems that some damage has already been done. India's booming, India's buying from laptops to flat screen TVs to refrigerators to air conditioners. India's trading in the old for the new. But hidden behind the glare of prosperity, a counter revolution that's slowly poisoning India. Graveyards like this dingy little scrapyard in a central Mumbai suburb where traders are so sensitive to media attention that only our hidden camera could enter. Where your old TVs, computers are broken down, burnt, picked apart and resold. And in the process producing harmful chemicals that pollute the environment. But the Maharashtra government's hoping to change that and is working on a law to manage electronic waste. It will be mechanized uh, treatment facility and the material whatever is there will be passing through uh, different steps and everything will be recovered back in an environment friendly manner. Even the state government's own survey places Mumbai on top of the e-waste pile. According to its estimates, Mumbai generates nearly 12,000 tons of e-waste annually and that isn't taking into account the imports the city receives from other countries. Unlike the United States and the European Union, which ban the import of hazardous electronic waste, India has no such laws. Which means that as cities shop more and more, it only adds more to India's hazardous pile. But activists say, while the government's move is better late than never, it will still have to pay a price for the damage that's already done. Because uh, there has been no uh, legislation, there has been no awareness about, about this, and uh, there has been no recycling system in place. The, the working conditions uh, there are very poor, the, the circuit board uh, burning has been going on with no, no, no precautions of health. The person who is burning the circuit board is inhaling the lead fumes, he is not aware what, what kind of fumes it is. It is then what it is what going to cause to his health. In Mumbai, Shloka Nath for NDTV.